people think I've lost my mind? Absolutely. People think that I've gone through a midlife crisis. I'm 42 years old. Who wants to go out and play with alligators and venomous snakes? I do. Uh, well, before Gator Country, my nails were always perfect, always nice and clean. Now you look, they got a little bit of blood in them, a little bit of dirt in them, got a little bit of blood in my hair too. Um, I, I, I had to cut up a hog this morning for the gators. Oh yeah. You got him? You got a good one there. I know. Let's go. Come on. My name is Shannon Williamson. I'm 42 years old and I'm from Beaumont, Texas. That's Rex. Rex got the hog, guys. About a year ago, I worked in an HR company where I had about 700 employees that I dealt with on a daily basis. You got two or three of them out there death rolling. Look at them death roll. I met Gary. He is the owner of, of Gator Country. He's right here to make you dig up your dead grandma and slap her in the mouth. <laughs> Chili cheeseburger. Thank you, baby. Mmm. He brought me into this world where I fell in love with these animals. Thank you for cooking lunch. Mm. I try to get up and do my HR job, put on my dress, put on my heels, and, and go to work. Then one day I just said, I'm not going back. Shannon had this crazy job. Like, she went all around and hobnob with all these well-to-do folks. And I, I really never did think that a person that was doing all of what she was doing would give that up to come live in the mud. Gator Country is a place where we rescue alligators, we rescue snakes, we rescue all kinds of reptiles. What did I think at Garrett first? Well, I pull up in this parking lot at a really nice restaurant and he pulled up beside me in this huge Dodge Dually wrapped in alligator. And I thought, oh my goodness, look at this redneck. Well, that lunch date ended up being eight hours long. After several months of, of, of being at Gator Country, she finally got this incredible want to have her own alligator. And I thought, okay, go pick you one. She came home and she said, okay, I got my alligator. There's the one I want. He's 11 feet, seven inches, weighs 550 pounds. I'm thinking, couldn't we have started a little smaller? <laughs> So this is Mr. Cuddles. When I first started working with the gators, I was terrified. I, I could feel my knees shaking. It's probably my second best friend in the world besides Gary. Mr. Cuddles took to me and I took to him. If you look at him, he looks like a chihuahua. No, he does not look like a chihuahua. <laughs> this animal's got 80 teeth and he bites down with 3,000 pounds per square inch. Make no mistake, this is not a chihuahua. <laughs> so an alligator sees, sees side to side. They have peripheral vision. They don't see you when you're standing in front of them. So when I get to the side of him, he can see me. Or when I'm standing in front of him, he can't see me. Come on. You see this bucket right here? That's Mr. Cuddle's rewards. Every time he does good, Mr. Cuddle gets rewarded. So he's learning. I'm teaching him. And that's how Mr. Cuddles is being worked with me day by day, every day. And he loves it. I love it. There's nothing like the first time you get up there with that animal. You're so good, such a good boy. Come on. And you actually get in that pond and you touch that animal. 
You don't know how they're gonna move. You know I mean, you're, you're scared to death. But let me tell you, it was the most amazing feeling. Let me put on my boots. From heels to rain boots, yeah, it's, it was a shock, quite a shock, but um, she's come along. I didn't think she'd ever get involved with the alligators, but she took a like, she tried it, and I guess once you try, I mean, you just kinda, you get hooked. This is a reticulated python. He's from Southeast Asia. He's probably about 15 feet right now. And he's a quick snake. So let's, let's give him a little pat here. Hey, Shere Khan. One of the three top longest snakes in the world. I'm gonna grab his tail, let him know I'm here, and we'll get him out. So if you notice, he is pretty quick. Very long snake. This is Shere Khan. These snakes have 90 teeth in their mouth and they all angle backwards. Once they lock down, you're not getting out of that bite. We're gonna put him in this box and we're gonna clean out his cage. He got himself. So he's in his box. Constrictors like to wrap around you and compress. So when he got around me, he started compressing, but I needed to control his head because his bite's a little bit. Or it's very long, so he wrapped real good around me. The best thing that you just did, the one thing that completely saves you, was that you had his head here, and your arm stayed extended, and you didn't panic. Now, that's the worst thing I've ever seen happen with a constricting snake at this park. It really is. I've never... You've never seen I've one? I've never seen it actually be able to control someone's movement like that. The snake was so aggressive just then, it actually had itself, but it was, it was looking for her arm. Had it been able to get in her arm, then we went to another level. But I can tell you from, from my stance, that, that was almost dangerous. That was a unique situation. Uh, he's never really constricted around me, so usually when I, when I have him by his head, he's pretty, he's pretty uh, controllable. So, it was fun. Let's move on. I have never been bit by a venomous snake. Now I have been bit by the constrictors and I have been tore up by alligators, but no venomous snake and I don't plan to let that happen either. All right. So these are American alligators. These are some of our smaller alligators that we have in here that we're training to handle. And I like to go in there and, and sit down with them. Sometimes they'll crawl up in my lap and, and I'll feed them with uh, small tongs. All right. So we're gonna come in here with the injured alligators. These are probably my second favorite besides the venomous snakes and, and Mr. Cuddles, of course. And I'll kind of show you about them. So this guy right here, take a look at his face. He was pretty injured, he got shot by a gun. We got him all healed up, he's eating, and this will be his first time out to a real pond in probably about five or six months. So let's go take him out to the pond introduce him to his new friends. He's ready. So this right here is our four to six foot pond. This is what rehabilitation is all about. Come on. Come on. Woo! Watch him. Going to make some new friends in his natural environment right there. That's what rehabilitation is all about, guys. Do I miss my old career? Absolutely not. Bye, Mr. Cuddles. I'll see you tomorrow. Every day 
is a different day here. See you tomorrow. Every day I wake up so thankful. I roll out of bed and I look forward every day to coming to work. This is not even work to me. This is fun, this is love, and this is family.